Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Alk. In this video, we will be understanding about that how to put one component into another component that is also known as parent-child component in NWC. So this is something what we have done earlier as well using the component library. For that, uh, we have created a component. This is a custom component. And let's suppose in this custom component, we need to put some uh, fields or some cards and we are taking it from component library. So you all know that component library is having a collection of the standard components which are already created by Salesforce. So let's say there is a component which are already created by them and that is a lightning input. Now, if you want to show this component into your custom component, then what you will be doing, you will be using a tag and that tag will be having the name of that component lightning input and that particular whatever code will be there in that uh, component will be put inside this custom component. Now we will be showing that uh, how uh, we will be putting custom component inside custom component. So let's understand the same with the help of a scenario but before that we need to understand that why we are putting one custom component inside another custom component, why it is necessary. So basically let's understand with the help of a requirement that uh, we are having one component in which we are having some fields and uh, that is having some button as well, okay, save button. Now in that component only I want to show the list of the records as well, okay, list of the records as well. Okay. Now for that one option is that I want to create this whole component with fields and list of the records. But uh, I am having one component earlier I have created in which there is a list of the records that are already shown. So what I will do instead of creating the new part into this component what I will be doing that instead of creating this thing I will be doing what I will be using this component into this uh, the field component only okay so now this component will be treated as in parent component and this component is getting used inside this component so this component will be treated as in child component and that's why we are using different different components because each component can be reused in another components and that's why this is we call as in parent and child component. Now let's implement the same scenario practically for that we need to create a one component in which uh, there will be some fields and the save button. And we need to create another component which will be showing you some uh, list of the records. Uh, it will not dynamic because we do not know right now. We will understand that how to make it dynamic in the uh, future upcoming lectures. So uh, we are creating component 1 and component 2. And then we will be putting this component 2 inside the one component. So that's why it will be called parent and child. So let's uh, jump to VS Code and uh, we will start creating those components. So I'll just close all these things. Don't say and uh, we'll create our new component okay I, I'm writing the name as in form parent component so that uh, you'll be able to recognize it that this is a parent component it is not necessary to give the parent component in the name but I'm just giving you to make you understand so form parent component so uh, we have created this and I'll one I'll create one more component that will be what Mm, list child component because here it will be the list of the record so that's why so we have created two different components first let's start with the parent component and first let's put some fields inside this parent component so for that you know the drill uh, we need to go to component library salesforce we'll go to here and we'll just have some input fields right so we'll just go to input fields and we'll copy uh, one of the input field and let's paste it. Okay, I'm not showing you with the SLDS grid and all those things that you can do uh, by your own. 
because uh, we have seen this already name age and let's suppose I'm having one more field that will be what email okay so right now uh, we have created this now let's uh, have the button as well so we'll go to button and in button we'll be going to select this button and we'll paste it here so we have pasted this thing uh, uh, i think i've choose the base uh, i'll choose the brand because uh, submit okay so this is uh, we have created the first component this is the parent component and then we will be uh, going for the child component to create the basic ui only okay so for creation of the basic ui what i'll do i'll just go to uh, this thing and i'll put various cards inside this component okay so that uh, multiple uh, things will be visible so i'll just copy this lightning card and i'm putting this lightning card and initially we will be uh, first uh, first record okay i'm giving the name uh, because it can be multiple records as well right and i'm um, first record of list okay and I'm uh, removing this footer because we do not need it. Then I'll again copy the same thing and I'll change it. I'll change the first to second. That's it. Okay, so uh, this changes we have done. Now what we need to put, uh, we have created two individual components, the component one and the component two. Now what I need to do, uh, like if you want to deploy it uh, separately, you can deploy it separately. It will be working, but I want that uh, these components, uh, this child component should be there into the parent component. So for that, what we'll be doing, uh, we need to import that component into the parent component. Okay, so this is a child component and I want to import that child component into parent component. So for that, now, the thing is, uh, what is the name of the child component? Let's see. Uh, in the boat so the name of the component of child is uh, list child like c is capital child component okay so as i told you that it will be in the camel case notation that we have followed l is small and both the c's are capital now whenever you will be having a camel case notation uh, whenever you need to import that child into parent, then this uh, camel case notation will be converted into kebab case notation. And that will be list hyphen child, like C will be small and hyphen component. Again, the C will be small. So you can see that whatever camel case was there, it was uh, converted into kebab case notation. Like every uh, capital letter, before capital letter, there will be a dash, okay? So uh, how to put that now? Let's go to the parent one and uh, let's start the tag. So if you want to include the child into parent, you need to start the tag uh, with the angular brackets and you need to write the name of the component that is list hyphen child hyphen component and uh, automatically it will get closed as well if it is not getting closed you need to close this particular tag with the forward slash right so once you will be doing this and save it now you need to only uh, like you need to only expose the parent component child will be exposed automatically with the parent okay so you can make it true you can see that i am on to the form parent component js uh, dot xml so uh, now you need to define the target targets and targets and in the target you need to define lightning home page and you'll close it target okay so we have done this thing now you need to first uh, just remember that whenever you are deploying the parent and child component first you need to de uh, deploy the child component okay without child component uh, it will not be working so first you need to deploy the child component so i am doing the same i am deploying the child component first uh, it is taking some time uh, it has been deployed then i need to deploy the parent component 
always uh, remember that the procedure of deploying will be in the same order first child and then parent okay so uh, it has been done or not let let me see uh, it is showing some error so let's see uh, pass error at uh, targets must be get terminated okay so uh, we haven't terminated that so yes now it has been done and deployed again so uh, now it will be deployed again uh, let's it, it, it is uh, saying that there is something wrong uh, list child hyphen component yes okay so this is uh, giving us an error why because uh, we need to specify one more thing uh, before uh, writing the name so uh, you need to specify c hyphen and c hyphen what the c represents to c is the name of the namespace that you are having in salesforce okay if you have changed your namespace then some uh, instead of c it will be something else but by default in every organization c is the default namespace that will be there so i'll just save it uh, into the parent component and deploy this now it will be uh, deployed into the org and it has been done successfully now what we'll do we'll just go to sales app uh, again and in the sales app we'll just go to the home page and then we'll edit this page uh, we are just editing it and we'll just delete the earlier component and then we uh, you'll be able to see that that from parent component is there but there is no child component why because we haven't exposed the child component and it is not necessary to expose the child component right because it will be exposed automatically uh, from parent only so i'm just uh, putting this onto the top and i'll save it once we'll save it uh, we'll go back and uh, you can see that in the same component the fields are also there with the submit button and the uh, records are also there first record second record okay so, and we uh, we are only made the changes into the parent record so basically what we have done that uh, we have created a component we have created a component inside that component uh, we were having some functionality in, in including those fields and then we are putting the another component into this only to show the records and this is what we call as in parent child in lwc and or putting one component into another component in lwc i hope this video gave you the clarity of how to put one component into another component or establish the parent child relationship in lwc if you found this video interesting then hit the like button subscribe to our channel and comment below